full moon blessings to you. This is just a quick video to look at the cosmic codes this evening as we're building up to the full moon in the UK. So it's Thursday the 24th of June 2021 and it's at one degrees of Capricorn at this time. In a couple of hours it'll be the full moon and it'll be at three degrees. In the Mayan calendar we had a very powerful Akashic record day so we're here on yellow planetary human and yellow planetary human being planetary day 10 of blue night wave spell blue night is the conscious dreamer and so today on day 10 we are seeing the manifestation of our creation as a dreamer conscious or unconscious as a human being the planet of yellow human is planet earth yellow human is the 12th mind sign and so it's a structure it's the crystalline structure we are the grail that holds the dream in particular in astrology women are often thought to hold the dream the mother in the family so this is an interesting energy to bring in and connect to tonight the full moon in capricorn and of course we're in cancer sun now we're on the third degree of it today and if you think back to the full moon in cancer which was on the 29th of december last year about what was happening for you then just as you're coming into the new gregorian year and everything that has been going on on the planet massively. Of course, we've got Pluto in Capricorn as well, which is ending a lot of old structures and patriarchal things. And a very necessary journey that we're going through now. So the summer solstice was just a couple of days ago. So we've got all that lovely goddess energy, all that mothering, nurturing energy and so this is really highlighting the full moon in Capricorn at this pivotal time of the year. We've had the longest day and so we're now in the feminine half of the year and we're moving towards the next pagan holiday which is Lammas on the 1st of August. So really taking in all that lovely sunshine and Again, in the UK yesterday, it was really, really hot. And today, not so much. So it can often be a challenge in the UK to know where we're at with the weather, which develops a pattern for us as well, doesn't it? That can be different to other places in Europe, for example, where the weather pattern is pretty steady throughout the year. In terms of the UK, the country is Capricorn, the old world, the father, and the USA is Cancer, and so the mother, the new world. And again, very interesting history, great to read history lessons at the moment. We've got uh, the Pluto return coming up in approximately a year's time in the US. So we're going to be revisiting all the Civil War issues at that Pluto return. So that's, that's gonna be a very interesting time. And in terms of the Mayan moon, we've only got two more days left of crystal moon. So the Mayan moon has 13 moons and each one lasts for 28 days. So we're in the 12th moon and after those two days get ready for that cosmic shift with the energy around authenticity and being the beacon of light for each one of us as an individual that's going to be such a key time this year. So I'm just going to read you 
the moon degree that we're at at the moment. Capricorn 1, a canopy bed with curtains, standing on the inside of life, protected and guarded, guided and led, held fast, kept so far back inside that what does express itself is purely a ceremonial display, a formal declaration. The observer or witness empowered to prevail, able to see, to realise, to comprehend the mysteries, clairvoyance, keenly sensing and viewing meaning and value, purpose and spirit backbone. So very strongly and steadily directed from within that there is no outer, there is no thing to do. Instead, you center yourself and align with who you truly are and stalwartly remain in a place of authority and power and inward truth as your statement and the only thing you know. Capricorn number three, which is the degree of the full moon, a woman sniffing pepper and sneezing violently. Attractions and repulsions, convictions, beliefs, antipathies and judgments. Being confronted karmically with whatever you most phobically seek to run away from. Mercilessly and ruthlessly over and again forced to come to terms with what you hate and cannot deal with. The fast and strong and hard path to get through mountains of karma and move onward. Yet each episode every cycle of recapitulation tends to be engulfing and consuming. You must discover the lost art of taking up karmic lessons without any indulgence in self-flagellation. If you can meet it and release it, get inside of it and be done with it, the process works. But if you linger over right and wrong, blame and praise, the swirls pull you too far under too long and the path through becomes a repetition compulsion with compulsion sorry with very little real breakthrough hmm sort of feeling that at the moment big time in doing um, some lessons through history in particular and this is so key of course to the Mayan calendar which gives us a bigger picture because prior to this we've been in white dog energy so remember we set off in red earth down here, what grounds us, again all our ancestors, all those patterns that we're becoming very aware of now if we're doing this work, and then white dog being our ancestral wounding, and of course this time of year we've got Sirius star and the time when the Nile floods, and of course that joke about the Nile, denial, a lot of people are in denial at the moment because they don't know what on earth is going on or what to do about it, not surprisingly. So again, with White Dog, the more that we become aware of our patterns and in particular which ancestral line we are living out in order to transform, to become a conscious dreamer and start to create differently. And that's what we're doing now. So we're working with, these, with Red Earth down here. Uh, number 17, a mastery process, Uranus, what's coming to light, and then working with White Dog, which is Mercury, which Mercury has just gone direct, and is in Gemini, so again we're working with what we've been going over, old ground with, mindsets, and most importantly how to change those mindsets with the emotional mind reset doing the healing work. And this is very connected to Capricorn because it's a 10th house. So in the traditional zodiac, that is Capricorn energy. So it's healing all those conditions around love that we have been brought up with and that our ancestors were brought up with that create limitation, create suffering, create a belief that we are not enough and foundation stones of our civilization and the imbalance between the sacred masculine and feminine of course the feminine coming in to balance now so we'll culminate with number 16 coming up next which is the yellow warrior and the heart path 
how to surrender to our spirit in order to be able to be guided by it as well instead of the ego, the undeveloped ego. So goddess cards, we've got the strength card. With your help, giant goddess, I am strong enough to build a temple in my heart where I honour the creative force and the earth mother from whom we can learn all we need to know to guide us on our path. That's lovely and reassuring, isn't it? Exciting card from the Mayan. We've got new myth. As you can see, that looks like a number eight, as above, so below. Like the picture behind me, the infinity cycle. We'll come back to that in a moment. And we've also got the Seven of Swords Futility. So you look, there's some amazing symbols on there. And I'll put a link below the video so you can explore that more if you wish. Basically though, because it's a number seven, um, you can also refer it to Blue Hand because that's the seventh mind sign, how we shape our destiny. And so we've created mindsets for ourselves. And I've been really observing that in myself over the past few days and really working with that. I've been doing a lot of tapping on how I'm feeling. And again, for me, it does seem this futility of however I try to co-create with the patriarchal structures over my life I have never been able to create harmony with them I've done a lot of things over my life I've been very sort of free-spirited in some ways um, I have rising in Aquarius so I'm a very contrary Mary person and that's key to you know what I'm doing now um, but it's having the faith really in yourself and working on wherever you don't have the faith in yourself. That's the most important thing because most of the patriarchal concepts that we have are around a big power imbalance and not a fair structure for people to live a harmonious, healthy, happy life. They're still holding the shadow stories of thousands of years ago around repression and keeping people in the dark around their true amazing abilities. So that's changing now. Sometimes that can be difficult. My oracle. And if you want to pause up there for further info. Basically, it's saying personal myth, meta myth, purpose, miracle on earth, new golden octave, path of innocence, present moment. Child of the sun, you are being called to wakefulness to your place in the new myth. A great miracle is coming for planet earth. Yay! And the time is now. A new consciousness will be created by the children of the sun as they ascend with the earth to a new place among the stars. A new harmonic of light and sound, a golden octave, is being sounded on earth, ringing in the frequencies of ecstasy, union and unconditional love. Child of the sun, why did you come to earth? You are the miracle of the new myth unfolding. You came to earth with a purpose, a plan, a master blueprint encoded in your feelings. Live in harmony with that plan. Open your world to the great mystery. You're being asked to view your experiences from a mythical standpoint so that you remember your connection to the larger pattern. Notice the metaphors in your daily life. The key to your personal myth is presenting itself. Your everyday world is infused with a vast mosaic of metaphorical meaning. Everything you do is relevant to the creation of your personal myth, as well as a larger meta myth. From now on, there are no more roadmaps, no more creeds, no more philosophies. From here on, your direction comes straight from the universe moment by moment. This is the path of innocence, the path of trust. Here, each step is walked only once, and the universe speaks in the voice of the presence. Feel the key to the kingdom in your heart. Know that, like the pull of the heavenly bodies, 
Love is neither taken nor given, but discovered and allowed. No one is without love, for love is a force that holds universes together. By simply embodying love, you are living the new myth that will create the wave home. Surrender to love and awaken, child of the sun. How beautiful is that? So day 10, have a look back. If you're doing the 52 day process with me, have a look at what this symbolizes, what year for you. For me, it's 2018 and amazing time of doing a festival on that birthday, which I was revisiting a site that I had my very first client because he was a student at a university of farming in the UK. So I went back doing a festival using additional tools um, that I had no idea that I was going to be using. And he was a yellow warrior, actually, and a cancer son. Once you start to learn about these codes, you will have your mind blown and you will absolutely know that anything is possible. So if you'd like to know more about how to use these, please do get in touch. Apologies for the noise in the background. My website is flowwithjoe.com and I love to chat with you about what's happening for you now and how to work with these energies to create the life you want.